So one was in the front of me and one was in the back, just to make sure that I don't die, I guess. <laughs> and you live here every day. They see this every day. This is beautiful. <laughs> Today has been a lot and I said today would not be a, a lot and I wouldn't do a lot and I ended up doing a lot. Kind of I'm on a horse for the very first time ever. No McDonald's? What state? What what's famous in Chicago? Is it Chick fil A or McDonald's? Um Hey guys. <clears throat> oh my my voice. Oh my god. I barely have a voice because of last night. Um, it's, it's my birthday. It's my 30th birthday today, guys. It's my birthday. I am so tired. <laughs> First of all, I was out last night until, I was up, I'm not out, I was up until like five in the morning. I told y'all I had met this other solo traveler through Nisha when we had went to go bamboo rafting and she stays in the resort next to me, her name is Portia. And we was out all last night We and she had met this guy at a resort, this guy and his family. So we were with him and his family all just kicking it. And they brought in my birthday at midnight with me together. It was so cool. It was so nice. I This is why I love traveling, even solo traveling. You get a chance to really meet other people like this. And I slept until like like 11.30 something. And then I, I got up because I was getting calls and messages saying happy birthday and stuff like that. And Portia shamed me for still being in my room at 11 something on my birthday. Whatever, girl. <laughs> it's because of you that I'm tired. I got these glasses on so y'all can't see my eyes. Last night I was drinking. I didn't really drink like that, but the drink that I did have was so strong. I told the bartender to make something fruity and strong. That was all my instructions. He gave me back some shit. Just, I don't even know what it was. I don't even know, tequila something maybe? He gave me back something and it was so freaking strong. I was like, oh, cause y'all know I haven't been drinking like that all year. So he gave me it back and I was just like, okay, who gonna drink this? Who gonna drink this? So I missed breakfast. So now I'm about to go get lunch. Then we gonna meet up with Portia again. Uh, we're going to the KFC later. That's what we are doing. I have to go to the KFC now that I'm here. Jamaican KFC is supposed to be the best thing ever. So we gonna see, we gonna test that. We really are. It's my birthday. Get excited. <laughs> outside one friend is staying on in the building right across from us and the other friend is staying right next to me so they're like shouting back and forth so I didn't want to talk over that outside but <sighs> this has been such a fun vacation so far to be honest up until this point I don't think I've been picking up my camera too too much but as far as like getting a perfect shot, right? As far as like angling the camera and taking out the camera every time somebody breathes, every time I breathe, every time the sun is hitting a certain way. I just, 
I didn't want to do that for this trip because like, this is my birthday and I don't want to spend time stressing over the angles and stressing over, okay, well, the sun is glistening right on my right knee. Make sure I get, I don't want to do that. So I have just been soaking in the moment and having fun. And actually what I was going to do was start journaling today because today is my birthday and I wanted to journal, but I just, this room doesn't have any pens <laughs> and I didn't bring a pen either. And I thought I did, but I can't find it. So I'm just making a video journal right now, which is basically what a vlog is, right? <laughs> Journaling is so personal. You guys are gonna get in my personal business. It doesn't even feel like I'm here for real. Like I'm still stuck in like, I'm not even here in Jamaica and I'm not even having this destination birthday, but I am and it feels really good. And I've been meeting people and talking to people too. So that's also why I haven't picked up the camera because I don't really like doing that. I told you, I already explained this before, but especially with new people you meet and putting cameras in their faces, like everybody don't like that. So I've just been vibing with people in real life and it's just been so fun. And I'm just so thankful to come here and I'm thankful to have actually met people already while I'm staying here. Cause that, you know, that does make the experience more fun. Even if I didn't, I would still have fun. But you know, when you meet other people and it's a good vibe and everybody is, um, you know, everybody's on the same frequency, that's always nice. And that's that's why I love traveling. That's why I want to travel. I want to meet other people and, you know, kiki with other people. So I'm just thankful to God that I am allowed breath through my lungs, that I'm allowed to wake up, uh, that I'm allowed to get on a plane and go to another country, that I'm allowed to have fun with people from all across the world that I'm just allowed to just be here in this in this existence right now and experience life. In 2023, I really learned a lot about the world, about my life, about myself really. Uh, actually, it all goes back to myself about who I am becoming as a woman, the energies that I want around me, the people that I want around me. It just all, it all started to fall together. You know what's crazy? my camera cut off scientifically your brain doesn't even fully develop or mature until like you're 26 or 27 and i feel like that's when shit really just started to click with me now that i'm 30 it's just i see i just see things more clearly as cliche as that sounds i know that sounds super cliche but i'm just becoming more of my final form you know i don't want to say that because no, if you know me i think every year is just i think life is about learning and evolving constantly You're, you should constantly be learning and getting better and, and getting experiences and stuff but i feel like me now is who i'm supposed to be if that makes sense if that makes any sense at all but i'm just thankful I'm thankful to god for watching over me even even when it feels like i don't deserve it and i always say this during my private conversations with god but i always say you be looking out even when I be, when I act a fool, or not act, not act, just act a fool, but even when I just, in my, in my opinion, being dumb, but he's always just, I feel just like a higher power is over me, just watching me constantly. And I'm so grateful for that. In, in, in the spirit world, I believe in having um, guides, spiritual guides, and I just feel closer to them as well. And I just feel, more protected than I've ever felt. As far as career goes too, I do feel like that is the part of me where it's just like, where do I wanna go? Cause if y'all don't know, I love to write. I love to write, that is my passion, but I don't. My full-time job isn't in that passion. It's, it pays the bills, but it's just, it's not giving me what I need. I feel like I just need to take the chance on myself and make that leap to writing more getting more books out there and getting my contract writing business off the ground. Cause I also do that on the side too. I contract write like blogs, articles, uh, stuff like that for companies that need help with the website work. But I want to be more serious about doing that. So I like, I like having the cushion of a full-time job. I like knowing that my money is coming at the same time every month. Every month is the same check. You know what I'm saying? I know where it's coming from. I know where it's going. You know, when you work for yourself and you know this, if you are an entrepreneur, you you have to hustle. Like you have to make sure that you get in money, especially in the beginning, especially in the beginning. And the dream is once you reach a certain peak, once you reach a certain point, 
You ain't gotta hustle like that. People coming to you or money is just coming to you because of the work that you put in. But for me, it's just like, yeah, the work that I put in, like I have to put in work and believe in myself to get to that point. Otherwise that point is not gonna come. I just, I really have to do that. And that's one of my biggest things. And my goal this year is to work for myself, period. Start writing for myself because why not? Why not now? Especially at the turn of this decade for me, this is the, the decade for me to do that. So I made a reservation later at this, uh, this Japanese restaurant, but that's not until 8.30, but I'm still gonna go down to the buffet and I'm gonna eat because I'm so hungry. I've been eating light because y'all saw the first day I was here, I had the bubble guts. I had traveler's diarrhea. That's what it's called. That's what I had. So I was scared to eat anything. So I've been eating like a bird, but now my appetite is coming back. My stomach feels better. I just, I just want to eat. So even before my reservation, I'm gonna still go to the buffet and get something because it's like a little after five now and my reservation is until 8.30. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Also later, I plan to change into the birthday dress that I bought and take pictures. Portia is gonna help me take pictures. And we'll probably go out to the club at Montego Bay and see some shows. And then that's my birthday. Tomorrow, we're going to the excursion, the zip line and the ATV riding and all of that. So yeah, just bask in the fact that it's my birthday and that I should be taking it easy. So I'm gonna go down there to go eat. And then I'm gonna pick back up with y'all later tonight. Oh yeah. This looks so pretty. hotel just gave me my birthday gift for today here's what it says it's a little card and here is whatever the thingy is isn't that so cute how they wrapped it what is, i can't tell what it is what is this a bag i'm about to open it my first actual gift what is this oh it's a okay it's a drawstring bag this is okay thanks that's cute you know what i need this for tomorrow i need a drawstring bag for the excursion tomorrow i think the tour operator was saying to bring something like this to put like your shoes and stuff in so i'm gonna actually use this for tomorrow this is pretty this is cute thanks anyway i ate so i feel better i got some energy in me now i'm gonna start getting ready for my reservation slowly start getting ready for my reservation and after that meet up with the people again y'all i am so mad about this this is the dress that i was supposed to wear to my dinner reservation for my birthday later and so i i just thought that i wanted to knock out some of the wrinkles in the dress so i went to iron it and look what i did do y'all see that hole it burnt right through, hold on, I ain't got no panties, so I don't want y'all to, it burnt right through the damn thing. Y'all see that? This was the, this was my dress that I was supposed to wear. And it's just, I can't, like it's so noticeable. I can't believe it went right through the fabric like that. I mean, I brought other clothes, of course, but dang, I wanted to wear this. 
Okay. Mini breakdown over. I'm just, I'm gonna wear something else. Waiting to start horseback riding and we're right by the water right here. Oh my god. Look at how beautiful this is and it looks so clear. I think that's we're gonna be on that catamaran later. Oh my god. You guys, I'm on a horse for the very first time ever. My guy just left us. Okay, little girl. Her name is Little Girl. Be calm, be calm. This is my buddy for the day. First lady. Hannah Brown Mercedes. Okay. What's happening, First Lady? Uh, I feel like I'm doing well. No, nah, you're doing it and doing it and doing it well. And doing it and doing it and doing it well. Welcome home. Say, Yaman. 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 He wants my shirt.
That was fun. I was scared at first because I was, I'm not used to getting on something that moves and has a mind of his own. So the horse, her name was Little Girl. I got on her and she was real cool though. Like she, she was really cool. She was a good beginner horse. You know, she didn't do nothing too crazy. Other people's horses was, you know, some of them was bucking here and there, but uh -uh, she didn't do none of that. So I'm so thankful to Little Girl. But first it was, scary but we did a few practice I guess laps around their little pasture thing in the circle and I did okay with that one time we went down this hill so that felt crazy like I felt like I was gonna fall because I'm now I'm really having to like hold on to the horse like this and just pray to God that I don't fall that felt scary and then we got in the water so that was cute and all but when they get in the water they make the horses run but I thought it was gonna be a nice leisurely stroll in the water. Like, no, they make the horses run in the water. I guess maybe, I'm sure there's a reason for that. If the horses were just to be going slow, maybe they get spooked or they fall or something like that. So I'm sure there's a reason for that, but I was not expecting us to be running in that water <laughs> with the horses. That was scary. I'm just like, Lord, please make sure I don't fall off this horse in the water and make sure the horse don't fall in the water. Cause if the horse fall, I fall. I have never gone horseback riding before. So that was the first and it was super memorable um, to actually put the horse in the water too. That was so fun. And then we did ATV riding. Y'all, this man sat here and told us the instructions of what to do. Tell me why I, I get to my ATV and I, I try to start it up and it don't move. It doesn't do anything. So I'm, now I'm fiddling. I'm like, what? People behind me was like, no, uh, press the uh, press the brake. And the brake is on the on the left hand side on the left pedal. And so I'm pressing the brake and nothing happened. And they were like, no, turn it on. Like turn the key. Tell me why I forget to turn the car on. So everybody looking at me. Some people who were ahead of us already rent went, but there's like most of the class behind me. I was waiting for me to go because we're all on a line. <laughs> and I I was so flustered, I was so nervous, like I didn't even turn the goddamn key. So I turn it on and you know, we're, we're practicing again, kind of like with the horses. We're going around in a circle in this open field and I'm drinking a lot. <laughs> I was stopping and going and I was going slow and everybody around me, tell me why everybody in my group was, they was damn near pros. 
what are the chances of that? Everybody just know what they're doing except me. So one of the instructors, <laughs> he pulled me to the side. He signaled for me to go to the side. He was like, are you, are you okay? <laughs> you nervous? And I'm like, yeah. So he made just us, me and him go in a circle and we had to pass by everybody else. And they just looking like, girl, <laughs> they looking like, girl, what is you doing? You don't know what you're doing. Well, then they start going again. We go down our, our little trail or whatever. And I'm, I trailed behind everybody the entire time. But one of the instructors, he stayed by me the whole time. And then eventually another instructor came <laughs> and was behind me. <laughs> So one was in the front of me and one was in the back, just to make sure that I don't die, I guess, just to make sure that I'm okay because I was, I really, I didn't expect that I would do so bad. And you know what? It's not that I did bad because I didn't run into anything. There was a girl in my group. She actually ran off the path and got stuck in some bushes. And one of the instructors up ahead had to pull her out. But I didn't have to do that. I was just going slow. When we made turns, I went super slow. But I'm like, look, I'm not trying to be flipped over because <laughs> at the beginning of the lesson, when we first got there, they had these big old signs up that said, okay, if you do any damage uh, to, the, to the bumper, that's $500 here. If you flip the car over, that's $1,500 there. And I, I wasn't trying to do none of that. I wasn't trying to do none of that, trying to show off to people. <laughs> so boom, that was that was that. That was that. So I sucks. Everybody <laughs> everybody else was so good. And then there was a part halfway through where we stopped uh, right by the water and we took pictures right by right by the water. And everybody was looking at me like, girl, you all right? <laughs> and they kept saying, you all right back there? I'm like, you know what, assholes? Yes, I'm all right. <laughs> that was cool. I'm happy to say that I did ATV riding, but never again. That's not my jam. Maybe if I do it a lot, you know? If I do it a lot, then it won't be so bad. So maybe in the future, but I'm really not pressed to do that. Like I did it in whatever. So ATV riding took long. And I don't know if it's because, it wasn't because I took long, because I finished when everybody else finished. And you know what? I was behind everybody, but I wasn't super behind everybody. Like I could always see people ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? But I was just in the back. So it wasn't like I was holding up time because when we when we finished and we came back to where we started, I was right by, I was pulling in with everybody else. So don't come for me. <laughs> so after that was zip lining, but somehow I missed my group zip lining. I don't know how I did that. I'm trying to think what I did. I know I went to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I got food. I got food because I thought it was lunchtime after ATV riding. It's just dawning on me right now. And that's why I miss zip lining. But I met this guy. He worked there. So he actually gave me like a private zip lining experience. He didn't have to do that because it was, what time was it? It was like at 1230 is when um, me and him was talking. And I had, I had met him before because he had came up to me at one of the bars and we were talking. And so I was walking by and I was going to zip lining. He asked me what I was doing and I said, I think I'm supposed to be going to zip lining. He told me, I think he missed it because they did it right after ATV riding. He went with me over to check with the zip lining people and they confirmed that I missed it. And he actually took me zip lining because he's also, he used to be the zip lining guy there. And I was like, okay, are you sure? Like, are you? Are you qualified to do this? <laughs> and I kept saying that. I was so nervous. He was like, well, yeah, you think I'd be playing with my life too? Cause he, he was going zip lining with me. He was being both the instructor and also just going with me to do it. So it was really cool. That, that was the one I was scared of the most. So the first zip line is the highest one. And just walking up, walking up that spiral staircase up the, up the tree or whatever. I was so scared. My heart was thumping and I wanted to turn around so bad. And he was like, no, you can do it. He kept hyping me up. You can do it. You can do it. So we get to the top and I'm just scared. I'm looking down. First of all, I don't know if I said on here, but I do not like heights. To voluntarily go up to heights, go on roller coasters, fall off a height, jump off a, a cliff or whatever. It's just, it's just not me. Like that's not my type of adventure. So I was so scared, but he made me feel good about it. It was all, I forgot. It was also him, it was him that helped me and it was one of the other zip line guys. So there was two, cause there has to be two. Cause there has to be one on one side and one on the other. One on one side, one on the other. Y'all know how it is with zip lining. So yeah, he helped me and I did all four zip lines in like, 
I don't know. By the time we were done, we had six minutes to spare because right after zip line and I had the one o'clock appointment to get on the catamaran to go snorkeling. And he was also going to get on a catamaran with me. I hurried up. I changed into my swimsuit, which is under this and got on a boat and did all of that. I don't know if I could have got, you know, uh, credit for that or something. I don't know. But I was just going to resign to not doing zip lining. But he actually made it happen, which was really cool. He, it, that was really nice. He didn't have to do that. Yes, yeah, snorkeling was cool. I was in the ocean. I couldn't believe it. I was swimming in the ocean. And guys, I'm so sorry. I wanted to take my GoPro in the water to have that experience. I really, really wanted to. I mean, that's what GoPros are for. But I'm missing the battery cover for the battery compartment. So it's just, I know, I know, I know. But I did get some shots of me getting into the water. It's just, I was laying on my back and just floating in the ocean. I've always wanted to do that. So I, we were snorkeling over reefs. I saw a fish in the water. I ain't seen no dolphins or nothing. I low-key wanted to see dolphins. Well, we ain't seen no, no big fish or nothing like that. Snorkeling though, I, that was kind of hard to get into because when you have the goggles on and you have that little mouth tube thing, when you have the goggles on, you can't, it smashes your nose. So you can't breathe through your nose. You have to breathe through the tube. And that felt weird. At first I was kind of hyperventilating a bit because I don't know, that's just a weird experience to have your nose pit, pinched, having to breathe through your mouth with this tube. I just wasn't used to it. As time passed, I got more comfortable in the water. And so I would, I really didn't use the mouth thing. I used the, the, the goggles and just, and I just closed my breath whenever I wanted to look into the ocean so that was cool i wish y'all could have saw the view of it but i saw it <laughs> i saw it and it's up here so i feel good about it after that i was on the boat uh they and we didn't have a big group i think in total it was like six of us on the i thought it was gonna be a big group but for some reason it was a smaller group and the crew was super cool and super nice so did i have this tag was out the whole time how come y'all didn't say nothing beautiful views it was a beautiful day one of the crew also gave me this anklet this this jamaican anklet he just gave it to me my my snorkeling guy this guy who was with me while i was snorkeling when we got out of the water he was also behind the bar so he gave me this it's so cute i've, I've had a day i had a day and y'all i saw nisha again today she was like rachel, hey rachel i'm like nisha she was with another traveler hey nisha girl so i had left my charger one of my chargers in her car when I was with her on Monday. So we were trying to figure out a time for her to come back and, and for me to meet her so she can give me the charger. And I just so happened to see her out today. So she gave me the charger because it was in her car. Jamaica is a small island. What are the chances that I would randomly see her there at the same time? I'm drinking, I don't know why I'm drinking vodka. No, I have a reservation later. I just realized that I have a reservation at a um, Italian spot. At 8.30, I think. Hold on. Hold up. I'm pretty sure I have a reservation. Girl, what? So when you stay here, they tell you to download the, the Ryu app. And on this app is where you can... Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. See, on this app is where you can book your restaurant reservations. You could also check in. You could book your spa reservations. You can do room service and all of that on this app. What time is it? Okay, yeah. So I have this reservation at El, El Aquadoto. <laughs> El Aquadoto at 8.30 later. So that's my day. I'ma just chill here. And you know, the rest of this trip is just going to be me chilling. I feel like I have not chilled because I have either been out with people or I have been out doing excursions. So from tonight until Saturday morning, today is Wednesday until Saturday, I am just going to enjoy being on the resort and just chilling, truly chilling. I feel like now I can just relax and chill. So I look forward to doing that. So I'm gonna pick back up with y'all later, if I do <laughs> tonight. I feel like I showed y'all a lot today. So if I don't wanna come back on, until tomorrow. I think, I think, I think I have a right to feel that way. <laughs> so see y'all, if not today, then tomorrow on Thursday. Bye.
when you see my big guns Run around, run away, as a rebel comes out Now you fall, call on me, when you call me, I fall But then you go again With your damn girl, open your mind to the sound of the trumpet What do you want from a lot of the hopeless? Now that you are, you're packing and crying I want to fly, yeah, I'm flying to morning Running away to the land of discovery Running away from the suffering I'm calling Beyond the noise and you feel this When you speak all I can hear is silence Turn it back from all the pain and violence Big tools that we speak to that really Cry now from the sun now from my name Fall down when you see me You know that, you know that I was there for Is he dead? No, he's he's trying to come up. He's shy. <laughs> he's like, nah, see y'all playing games out here. Is it a baby? Oh, he's coming. His little hands are sticking out. <laughs> Come on. Come all the way. He's purple. I will wait for you. Today has been a lot and I said that I would not today would not be a, a lot and I wouldn't do a lot and I ended up doing a lot. So I met two new people today. Y'all saw them. Their names were Jeff and I'm gonna remember when I remember I'm gonna put it up here because that's my good sis. <laughs> we had a good time. I don't know. My brain is just it's too much going on but me and her and him. So I met new people uh, when I was lounging by the pool at the palace and we were talking and they were telling me that they were going on a party boat boat and they invited me and i said hey why not it was a party boat that took people snorkeling but i already went snorkeling yesterday and i guess i could have but 
Uh, I didn't want to get in the water. And maybe it's a good thing I didn't because y'all saw the instructor yesterday that I had. He was in the water with me. Like I was clinging onto him for dear life and he was like right with me. But these instructors, they didn't get in the water with us. So I just would have been out there. I don't know. I would have, I don't know. Maybe it would have been okay because I did it yesterday. So I would have more of a sense of what was going on. But nah, I need, I need to cling to somebody. I just can't be floating in the ocean like that. And one of the girls, she kind of floated away. The guy that I was with, Jeff, he he's a good swimmer. So he went to go get her. But see, that would have been me. And I didn't, I, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want the boat to be over here and I'm way over there. We did go to Tropical Bliss, I think. And we we got off there for an hour. I got a massage on the beach. I've always wanted a massage on the beach and I got that. That massage felt so good. Shout out to, shout out to her who did it. And I also tried a coconut. Got a drink or Jeff got the drinks for us. Or is it Jeff or Greg? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so much going on. That was, that was it. It's been such a good day. And then we got, oh, and we got back on the boat and then we had a party all the way back to shore. So then I went out again. Y'all saw me. I went out again. We went to the beach, like outside of the resort. It was beautiful. I watched the sunsets. I'm so glad that I caught that on camera really, but I wasn't really focused on recording like that, but I'm so glad I caught that on camera. So I'm just so happy and I'm so thankful to be experiencing all of this right now. Y'all can't even understand. I have another reservation at the Italian spot today. Yesterday I had lamb and it was the best thing that I had on this resort. Sorry, lamb and them roasted vegetables. So, and they and they gave me this cheese cheesy bread too. It was like this bread roll, but it had cheese. It was cheese in it and butter in it. And oh my God, I'm gonna ask if they can give me two of those today. They, they was a little stingy yesterday. So I'm gonna ask if they can give me more. I'm gonna go back there. Um, I'm probably not gonna show that because y'all already saw what it looked like yesterday. I'm not gonna get lamb. I think I'll get spaghetti and meatballs there. So tomorrow, so I don't know if I told y'all, but I do have another tour and I'll probably talk, I'll tell y'all about that tomorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of running a little late. I'll tell you about that tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat, I'll come back into the room and relax. It was another busy day, but I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And yeah, this shirt, Again, you know what? Y'all probably saw me wear this already my first day, but I'm I'm running out of clothes. I thought I brought enough clothes and I didn't. <laughs> and some of the clothes I did bought, like my birthday dress, it ripped. I bought this cute little romper thing. The zipper ripped on that. I didn't even wear it. I just tried it on and it ripped. So I feel like I'm low on clothes right now. So you're gonna see me repeating some clothes, at least when I'm just like, walking around, like I'm just going downstairs. Like it's, it's whatever. But I'm gonna come back with y'all and uh, I'm gonna talk to y'all probably tomorrow, okay? Okay guys, good morning. So we are off to another tour. So I was telling y'all yesterday, so way back in early February, I was trying to book this kind of drive around the city tour. So it's just a driver, he's taking you around to different spots. Uh, he's stopping wherever you want him to go. He can take you to a gift shop. He take you to get food. And I thought that was so cool because it would be with the local. So I did that. But as I tried to book it, I didn't get a confirmation that it went through either way. Like I checked my bank. They didn't charge me. I checked my email. I didn't get the confirmation. So I forgot about it until dude was calling me like a few days before, a few days ago. And the whole time I thought he was spam because it was a Texas number. And he was talking about, oh, well, are you ready for your booking? And I'm like, what booking? So then he called me yesterday and I picked up and he told me you have a booking with us. And I'm like, what? At first I was so confused because I'm like, no, I don't like I don't got nothing planned for tomorrow. <laughs> I was just going to chill. As he was talking about it, it started to dawn on me a little bit. But again, I didn't I didn't con get confirmation. So I just thought it was what it was and I forgot about it. And I just thought, you know, it didn't go through. So uh, it was supposed to be for yesterday, but today is Friday, my last day. So I'm going to go. So it's almost 8.30. The tour, he's going to be here at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to eat something before I go. So we have another last minute drive around Montego Bay tour with the local, and I love that. I love, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go on tour with the local. I was going to dispute it because when he called me yesterday, I was like, well, I don't have this on my itinerary or whatever. So I was just going to be like, you know what, forget about it. 
I'll just dispute it with my bank and get my money back. But then I was like, come on, like I'm in Jamaica. Why not? Why not? Like I'm, they already booked me. They already charged me, <laughs> I guess. I looked at my bank, they did charge me, but it was late. They charged me like a few days ago, which is weird. So like, I might as well, might as well. Just don't got too much going on as far as the outfit today. It's very relaxed. One thing y'all notice about me, I don't wear makeup like that. <laughs> First of all, normally I really don't know how to apply it. I'm not that good at applying makeup. And secondly, um, I didn't bring any makeup brushes. So I'm, I'm not gonna be applying makeup with like a cotton sponge anymore, <laughs> girl. So the most I, I'ma do is some lipstick, <laughs> a, a cute little lip gloss and call it a day. So, and that's how it normally is too. I just, I like a bare face. And plus I'm, I have eczema, so it's very easy for me to break out. I mean, that's never been a problem, to be honest. I mean, listen, the niggas still gonna come up and talk to me anyway. <laughs> with a bare face and all. Oh, all right. So remove this. We pull it from the body. Like. This is beautiful. 
Are we on a cliff? <laughs> Tell them who you are. Hey, I'm Kristen from Down to Earth Tours. She yes. let you know whenever you come into Jamaica, just book your tour with Down to Earth Tours, okay? Yay. We're going on a tour today. We're going to see, we're going to the museum. And yeah, we're going to video at the museum. Yeah, and we're going around different parishes today. So we're seeing the local life. I'm excited. <laughs> Those insects.
All right, guys. So I just completed my Jamaica travel tips type of thing video. So now we back to the regular vlog. I wanted to show you guys what I got. I, I didn't show you guys my souvenirs. So I got this when I was at Chucka the other day. I collect magnets, I guess, everywhere when I travel. It started to become a thing. So I got this, these super cute magnets. I think these were three for $10 there. Um, I got this one. My mom wanted a magnet and she wanted a bottle opener. And I think this is this is both. So that says Jamaica on it. So she's having this one. I also got this one too, Mr. Mr. Reggae guy. This is also a magnet. So I got all of these. I wonder if these will ever just fall off naturally. I haven't took these off because I don't have any scissors. I mean, I've tried to take them off, but they won't come off. And it's just like, why take them off? They're like my badge of honor that I've been doing so much in Jamaica. So. They all wet with stuff. They've been in the ocean. They've been <laughs> taking showers with me. They've been in pool water. They're pretty durable. The day when I was out with Chrissy, we went to this gift shop and I told her, I told her, look, don't take me to no more gift shops <laughs> because I spent so much. <laughs> so I got this super cute purse. Isn't it so cute? I fell in love with this lavender color and everything there was 50% off. It has this little Jamaica thing at the bottom. It's a cute little handbag. I noticed that I, did, I don't have anything like this. I see a lot of the girls here have these little straw purses and I don't. Well, now I'm leaving, so it don't even matter. But for next time, I'm gonna bring this. I love this lavender color. And it has, and it has straps too, if I wanna wear it. So I don't have to use it as a clutch. I can wear it as a crossbody or whatever. I got my mom to, one too. She said she wanted a little something like this, a little purse thing. She likes collecting purses and wallets and stuff. So here's another one that says Jamaica on it. That's for her. Also got some rum. So Jamaicans love rum. And apparently this is one of the ones that is so popular here. This is a, I think this is a rum punch. So I'm taking this on the plane. I'm checking it though. Checking it in my bag. And I'm also taking this. This is Jamaican lion, some gold rum. So I'm taking this home. I did want to take some rum with me. So I don't even drink like that. So this is probably going to sit in my cabinet for like years. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. Maybe if I invite some friends over, this will go pretty fast. I also got this little Jamaican dress here. Now, you know, I had to, with the colors and stuff like that, you know, I had to get one. <laughs> I couldn't come here and not get it at least this one time. It's a net and it's see-through. I actually might wear this tonight when I go to Pier 1. I don't know if this is the vibe. I don't know if you wear this to Pier 1, but isn't Pier 1 inside, outside type of vibes? I think, I don't know. I just keep hearing about it. I think it is, but it has this little slit here and I was just gonna wear uh, a bikini two piece under it. But I don't know if that's the vibes there at the Pier. But if not, I'll just walk around the resort with this on today, I guess, I don't know but I had to get it. And at least when I come back, I'll I'll have this already. So yeah, those are the souvenirs that I got. So not too, too much. And y'all don't even wanna know how much money I've, I've spent. Speaking of that, I need to look, <laughs> I need to look at my checkings account again today to make sure that, I, that I'm good, to make sure that I'm okay. <laughs> so that's it guys. So I'm gonna let the camera charge. I'm gonna relax a little bit before I get back out there. Because again, I, I am I am going to the neon party party later. So I'm gonna relax a little bit before I go out. See, this is our last night, guys. This is our, we're not even gonna think about that. We're not even gonna think about that. We're gonna have fun. See you at the party in five, four, three, two, one.
Hey you guys, it is the last day. I, my ride is coming in 10 minutes. So it's my last day here. I don't want to leave, but I must, I have to. These six days have flown by. It doesn't even feel like it's been six days. I feel like I literally just got here. It's the weirdest thing ever. Like this was probably my longest vacation to date, but it felt the shortest at the same time. And I think it was because I was doing something every day. Okay, so the good, the people um, going on the excursions, going out into the, to the town of Montego Bay, not just the resort, but the entire parish and seeing how people live. Yesterday, I, I went to Pier 1 and I, I showed a little bit of footage, but guys, I just turned my phone off and I was just living in the moment. I was dancing my heart out. <laughs> and usually I'm I'm kind of too shy to dance, but I went to Pier 1 and I just I just let loose. I went with a friend and we just, no, no phones, no electronics, save for the little bit of footage that you saw and we just danced. Those memories are what I wanted to create and I'm so happy. And again, I know this vlog isn't, probably isn't the most aesthetic, but I don't care. I had, I had fun. I had so much fun. Um, the bad, uh, the food, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the food here at the palace is just okay. And because of my first day experience, I haven't really been eating a lot, which means that I'm kind of hungry a lot, but at the same time not, because I know if, like I don't wanna eat because it might upset my stomach. So, and if you guys can hear it in my voice, I'm actually sick. How the hell I come to Jamaica and get sick? I actually threw up a little bit this morning too. I am sick now. And so I, I, do, I do have some some DPH. I, can, I, I don't think I could take this on a plane. It's 120 milliliters, right? That's like four ounces. So I don't think I could take this on a plane, but uh, yeah, I didn't got sick child. It's a, probably a combination of things too. There's just the travel. I usually always get kind of like a little sick during travel, just being around so many people and their germs. So I'm heading to the airport. Hopefully it's not gonna be long. I'm leaving at 10.45, my flight is at 1.45. But you know, uh, just in case, I like getting at airports early. Give me at least two or three hours. Like I need to, no matter where I go. I'm coming back to Jamaica more vlogs of me coming to Jamaica. I have to come back. I, I don't know if I will stay here. Maybe I'll stay, I don't know. Y'all, do I have a Jamaican boo? Um, <laughs> so much happened um, that I want to say that, but I, I'm not gonna say, but just know that I've been having fun here with the men, with the men folk. We'll be back. Don't worry. We will be back. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go downstairs to meet my driver. I'm sure it's approaching 10:45. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my little channel. If you did like the video. You know what to do. You you, you know them buttons down there, and you click down there or whatever. Please do that. Do that. I usually don't ask, but for this vlog, I know it's gonna be long. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this because <laughs> there's so much that happened that's on my camera. Some I can't even show y'all, but just know that that took a lot of work. So what you just watched, what you just watched to get right here at this moment, that took a lot of work. So, you know, like and subscribe. Ooh, I've never said that. It feels weird to say, that feels weird. But you know, if you like the video, D do that. <laughs> All right, let me um let me go to the airport and I'll see you guys in the next one, the next vlog. All right? Bye.